going on my friends ken the gamer 04 welcome back to la nor we are going to do i believe this is the setup uh yeah that's pretty much it let's just get going on the campaign if this thing will actually load Phelps, I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Mix your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky lime is about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Did bro seriously just throw the chair in the wrestling ring? That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on so this So are we fight. here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Interesting. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Interesting, interesting. This tape is nothing relevant. Just gotta pick it up so the game knows that I'm actually doing something. Alright, this is relevant, so... I don't think this is anything. Shut up. Then we come over here. Oh, maybe it's on the other side of this thing here. Yeah, there it is. We do that. And then I believe that's it in this room. I'm mm, let's let's go back in there. There's a glove here. Another boxing glove. Relevant. I doubt it. Well, no duh, but I have to check it. No thanks. I haven't collected one of those in a while. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy? You out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. 
My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Ooh. Oh. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. There goes the paddy wagon. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. Mm. You know the place? Uh, Lock nope. House. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You All drive. Right, buddy, you're driving. You go over the case notes. Do we know where we're going? What is that humming? Is that the you clock? You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Yeah. Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. I mean, just stick with the Brooks Brothers. It'll be okay. Right? I think it will be. I totally definitely think it will be. You know what I noticed? He didn't even put out that hey, APB for him. Shut up. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Prominent Tommies, eh? I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Marilyn Monroe. Uh, you got a problem? How? This town's dangerous. Winston Churchill. This looks suspicious. A very patriotic Englishman. Is yeah, in yeah, it is. The name the sounds bulldog. familiar. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. One of these days. Oh, he's literally right here. Eh, we just unlocked. walk right in, you know. That's fine. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Oh, really? Has he now? Oh, my God. I'll take the whole year for that car. Shut up. Ow. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. 11 grand would be a nice little nest egg. Would it, though? I think it would. Really? It's this angle if he has a real love interest. I guess so. He's got a love interest of some sort. But what could it be? Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. 
Seems like a lifetime ago. Adrian Black, my god. Mm, hot the Parnell Soup Company. Uh, uh, do we just... Oh, okay. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Ah, doesn't Who's he Candy? Have Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this oh, coupon. Oh, what's this? Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Could it be Candy? It very well could be Candy. Ah, uh, Vasa Stas. Ay, 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 ay. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Shut up, dude. Zoom in on it. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. How would a fighter have much time? He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. What else? What else? What else? Uh. This isn't what we're looking for. Well, the thing went off, so, like, shut up. We kind of investigated this whole thing, right? Oh. It's still warm. Hmm. Another window exit. Must have just missed him. Hmm. Interesting. Now what? I think we out of here. Like a decent guy. This town's dangerous. What's going on, buddy? I never knew I can actually do that. My God. One of these days. How are you? So now what? Andy Edwards' address. All right, you're driving, buddy. You can drive. So you boxed in the Marines? We yeah. all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only Rick prize Flair? for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. One thousand push-ups. My God, I couldn't do that. Maybe fifty if I if uh. People are lucky to see to see literal fifty. But after that it's nothing. Why are we at another motel? We need to know which room is candies. A deer and a mop. Can I help you, gentlemen? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment seven. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Give it up, Sounds bitch. like we're missing all he's the fun. Get in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you I haven't seen him. Okay. <laughs> like hitting women. This isn't going to end well for you, friend. <laughs> oh, he slumped. 
he hit his head on the out cold but breathing give her a minute and take a look around uh, is it did i i didn't kill this guy right we're gonna wait for him uh, she's leaving town yeah she is all right let's inspect the stupid unconscious body Yep, nothing relevant there. But wait, but wait, what's this? Whoa. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Yeesh. What's going on, dude? Oh, who's this? Uh, what do we Carlo here? here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. He what does. are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Like, slim to none. I don't know, man. I'm very surprised that he still hasn't woken up yet and started to attack us. I mean... I don't know, man. Boss's DOS. Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Nah, of course not. Of course not. Because why would there be something? But we've got the... Escania sails from New York. What part of New York? I'd love to know. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Where did he go? Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Yeah, I knocked him out. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Okay, the whereabouts of Hammond. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. How the hell are we... Facial expressions lie. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. What about the magazine coupon? How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked Sheesh. out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Yeah, you did. A uh, list of odds recovered. Your name's Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you could be anybody how the hell would i know you're lying the again aren't they tell me the truth how the hell would i know i don't know the the payouts albert wrote okay. his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room we found the odds in his locker who has the betting slips that son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. Hey, plans to leave town, town. Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Sure about that? Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money, too, tough guy. I'll handle this. 
Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Oh, we're going to stake her out. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. How does she know that I'm right behind her? How does she know? Uh, okay. I guess I was supposed to hide behind the truck then, eh? How the hell am I supposed to know me? Like, okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. Just get me Tail the hell out of there. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. We're supposed to tail the broad. How the hell do you know that? How does one go hide in plain sight by going incognito? Okay, that's so weird. Actually gonna lose her. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Look for newspapers. Whatever. Too much slack. Get closer. Yeah, but I don't want her to notice me like right now. I'm doing so good, damn it. Losing the trail. Slack. Gotta get closer. Move 
been at risk losing the trail. What the hell just happened there? Oh my god. What is going on, dude? Oh, she's so far down there. Holy crap. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Losing the trail. I would have laughed hysterically if that actually made me fail the mission. I would have laughed so hard if I literally, like, failed the mission because of that. Oh my god, that would have been way too funny. Slack. Gotta get closer. Oh god, someone just got into another car accident. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we get to go in here. What's up, mother fudgers? A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She claimed me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Uh, okay. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Oh my god. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. You're behind the you wheel. Drive. All right, where to? I think we missed a clue. Back at that hotel. West Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGP Elfier. KGP El Clear. South Sissimo Avenue. Engine 2. Engine 4. 
Good lord, it's not... I don't know, man. I'm just... The Chicago Dispatcher, you know? It, it's, it's interesting how it sounds, and I like it. Yo, man, I still want to go in there and be like, What's up, buddy? Yeah. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. <laughs> told her there was a card over there by the phone. Oh, come on. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. Okay. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Good, thank you. Move it. Okay. Can you drive to this one? Now. Fine, where are we headed? We're going to Ray's Bookmakers. I like how he just hangs his arm out the window. It's pretty funny. Hammond backed himself to win. Did and Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Oh, Jesus. He gets into another car accident. My God. How do you do? Our partner Roy has just gone into his, uh, believe that was second or third car accident with us. One, two, three, four. It's not the right one. Right. Well, you know what? Maybe That's it the is. Cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. Why am I driving? She must be inside. That she is. Now we have to tail the cab. Are you serious? We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Oops. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. I'm trying. Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was gonna win. I hate telling people so much.
God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Cole. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Pull over. She's heading inside. Hey, don't we have to, like, pull over the bus or something? Or am I thinking of, uh, something else? I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. She was a five-star goddamn wedding. He's got a spring. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? <laughs> I survived the war for this. That cop, Papa Dyer, yeah. did the Dahlia. They covered it all up. Some kind of big. Yeah. Extra, extra, read all about it. What just happened? Like the war all over again. Wait, what just happened? Wait, 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 wait. Extra, extra, read all about it. Oh! Holy Toledo! Yeah, the Palm Springs for the weekend. What the heck, fire? The women don't find you handsome. This guy's got They should at least find you handy. Going to church doesn't make you any more Christian than standing in a garage makes you a clock. Wait. Where does she go? I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Wait, where did she go? Extra, extra, read all about it. I am not kidding. Where did she go? Did I... Wait, what just happened? I was gonna say, are they in here? Oh, no. Run! Oh, my God. Call an ambulance. <laughs> Hammond got away. <laughs> Just so try and sit still, Candy. Make Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, <gasps> They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Damn, Looks like man. It. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. So, now what? Do we just... <sighs> Good lord, man. Two caliber, one shot fired. Hmm. I'll be a monkey's uncle. The Egyptian.
Egyptian theater. But why? Why the movie theater? So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Okay. I guess we'll go to the theater. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going? The uh, theater. We don't really have much to go on, they say so. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. Huh. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Oh, man. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Carl Evan King, Carl Evan King, come in. Carl Evan King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. Clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Now what? What what do we do now? Like, I, I don't know, man. Why'd you kill us, Carlos? Your grot was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I ain't said to keep on living. Sounds like they're in here. She stole those betting slits. She was running out on me. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a die. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. Uh, the oh. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and made a quick buck. And Candy did it and make those dreams come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Come on, Cole. Carlo's a dead man. Hammond, too, and I'll find him. Reinforcements are on the way. I'm wide open here. Where are you? Holy crap, I almost died. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Ooh. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps!
Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, no. Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and a, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Gee, thanks. I appreciate it, Doc. Albert Hammond sails for England after inexplicably vanishing from police custody. One eighty-seven at fifty-eight ten Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over. There. All right, all right. That'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys loved it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys. Uh, catch you guys on Friday. Goodbye.